air conditioning. We're only like 30, 40 minutes into our first day. <laughs> We're just super bummed that we haven't already killed a ton. <laughs> <laughs> you set the bar high. Yeah, I think we expected that. We saw on the boat ride in, we saw a strutter like on the lake with some hens. We heard gobbles, a number of gobbles. So I think we thought we'd just leave camp and just have like tags filled like immediately. <laughs> <laughs> we we both should know better than that. <laughs> turkey camp we're doing something a little different this year uh, our good buddy Eric uh, was kind enough to tow his boat down so put it in the boat and we're cruising up the lake so we're camping off the lake here and then we've got turkeys kind of all around us in every direction so I spend the next few days turkey hunting uh, should be a blast I have my two brothers here with me which I haven't hunted with in a long time so it's be a lot of fun so we're pretty excited it's spring and I'm ready to go hunting because I haven't hunted in a while Bowling on a bite or just bowling? You got the whole thing? No. Careful with that no, bag, that's sensitive. The boat or fishing stuff? Oh. Why don't we sleep in this six? This is a four. And then put gear in this. How far is it? You want to fish down as far of that flat spot as you can? Is that square? Pretty, square pretty damn close. Okay. There's birds Three all over that, dude. <laughs> They're jakes. We're not going after them. Yeah. Are you, uh, are you rolling? Oh, yeah, we're, we're live. We got his game. Why don't you guys go kill that bird? Okay. We'll go over this way. Nothing else we're scouting for tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I think what we'll just break off up here. So Alright, Eric and I are splitting off. Going our separate way. Looking for a gobbler. Heard a few, so we know there's a couple around. So let's gotta go see if we can locate them. And as we stop, a hen just flew out of the tree right in front of us. So I don't know, good chance that there could be a ton here, or maybe she has a nest. But a good sign, at least there's a hen here, and we'll see what we can come up with. All right, let's see this first call. Thank <laughs> you. 
that way. You heard one, guys. You heard one. Back that way, I think. I don't know. So we're working up the ridge from camp and we struck a bird right over here. Now we're trying to get a feel for where he's at. Trying to get a line on him so we can get us some turkeys.
if we can't strike up a tom. There are so many crows calling that on the distance they sound like gobbles. And they're doing that little like, like crow, 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 crow. And the gurgling. Like, yeah. yeah, that's cool. And I think I, I want to hear gobbles so when I hear them. <laughs> I think I'm hearing it to yourself. Yeah, they're gobbles. <laughs> Alright, for cruise. Yeah. about midday here hunting turkeys and we've uh, located a few we have actually put eyes on a few but uh, they're a bit skittish so now we're gonna start the day after lunch and go see if we can locate some more setups, either deer run through and gobblers seem to get quiet or running and calling a couple of hens. And now we're hoping we can go back to where towards where we started. Maybe there's some toms that are willing to work for us this evening. If that doesn't work. We'll at least have food ready at camp for too long. Start again tomorrow. Well, heard some birds. A bunch of birds. None of them wanted to cooperate. Spooked a bunch of hens. Ran into a bird that was roosted at around five o'clock in the evening. Gobbled all night crazy. Couldn't get to come in. Just ran into some jakes. Didn't even care what we were throwing at them. Overall, good day. There's lots of birds. Just need to find one that'll cooperate. Hens were all jacked up. We thought, you know what? I told Brian, I said, you know, sometimes when you strike a hen, they've got a silent gobbler right behind them. And sure as shit, we heard gobbles like as soon as we just sat down and started working the hen, and they show up and the bird's right behind them. And then the hens turn and he followed going away and he followed the hens away. And I mean, he was only, had we seen him, and that was the other thing, they're coming up a skid road. So he's just out of sight. If once we got down there and started moving behind him, you know, he wasn't, he was probably 60, 70 yards, I think, but he was there and he was gobbling to everything, but he followed his girls out. Roll a bone? No. Oh. 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 